Hey friends, let's start with introduction. High voltage installation requires an arctic system to protect human life against excessive step and touch voltages and to keep the transferred potential to a minimum. So you you have seen that uh, here we explained that why we are designing uh, arcing uh, substation mesh. What are the purposes? Uh, it basically have two uh, benefits. Uh, number one is for the human safety. The earth mesh system is uh, extremely important because if the mesh uh, is not installed then you can see a substation uh, as a death trap or if the earthing of the system meshing system earth, uh, earth calculation earth meshes are not as per the desired the result with uh, at normal condition it might work uh, okay but uh, during fault times uh, because huge fault current is flowing through the network it will uh, certainly increase the potential step and touch potential so we have to design uh, our think system that uh, our step and touch potential should be within the permissible limits the increase of fall current to earth affects the important of importance of our think system and need for a low resistance of earth grid so if the earth resistance is high, it will be difficult uh, for a fault current to flow to the ground. So this is one of the issue. And uh, uh, if the, uh, for example, if you if you see a feeder where there is the uh, earth resistance is uh, very very high, you mean the conductor you have seen in hilly area is grounded, but the feeder will not trip. So earthing. Uh, uh, resistance if it is low it will allow the fault current to flow and when the fault current will flow the pressure will operate in a proper way so in the other way if uh, uh, the earth resistance uh, is giving us the opportunity also to isolate the faulty portion of the subs uh, of the power system uh, also it gives an opportunity to detect the fault uh, when, the, when there is abnormality. That's why you will find uh, that earthing is extremely important and this is also one of the reasons that you will find a sheet, metallic sheet which is grounded uh, in the control cable mostly. So whenever there is uh, insulation uh, break, uh, it will be shorted to uh, the sheet which is grounded already and MCB will drip in that case so this is the same concept that we are discussing here as uh, the design calculation of earthing systems are based on uh, the IEEE standard 82000 and TESP 119.10 so each uh, uh, calculations uh, has to follow some standard so IEEE standard 80-2000 is uh, a famous standard uh, which is used for the earthing system uh, which is an international standard and TESP technical uh, uh, electrical specification P-119.10 uh, and this is a specific, uh, uh, specification designed for specific region this is used in Saudi Arabia so, <coughs> so we have to follow the uh, the calculations based on these two standards. The basic values for these procedures are the maximum arc fault current and fault duration at different voltage levels. So, as I told you, the most one of the most important uh, calculations uh, uh, which are used uh, to design a uh, grid station uh, arcing system is uh, the maximum fault current the other name of the uh, maximum fault current is also short circuit level and it is for fault duration at different voltage levels so as i told you if you have a substation where you have three different voltage levels 380 or 110 or 11.5 t whatever 
so each uh, voltage level uh, normally the fault level is different and the duration of fault level for example uh, in our case in most of the cases the short circuit level could be like 60 kilo ampere for 3 seconds the substation uh, protection should be able to isolate the fault within this time so what does it mean by 3 seconds so well, I was one of the meetings in design calculations. If you if you see the con uh, conductor uh, uh, specification provided by the manufacturer, uh, they will also provide short uh, circuit uh, rating, uh, short uh, time rating for the conductor. If the current is flowing through the conductor, huge current, and it is uh, if it is more than the uh, capacity of conductor, the conductor uh, will heat up and it can melt down, it can evaporate uh, in the air. So the, uh, the conductor cannot bear the current for beyond this uh, uh, provided uh, short time rating unless it damages itself. So it is most important, these, these are two basic values which are most important for designing of substation uh, arcing system. As part of fault can be written within the earthing system, wire, transformer, neutral, earth wire, cable sheet, etc. Only the remaining part has to be considered for design of earthing system. Uh, determination of resulting current flowing into the earth electrode is therefore an important task. So here what they want to say is that as part of fault can be written within the earthing system, only the remaining part has to be considered for the design of earthing system. Uh, determination of resultant, resulting current flowing into the earth electrode is therefore an important task. So uh, here they want to explain that uh, it might be that uh, short circuit level of uh, uh, network is very high. Uh, for example, if network short circuit current is uh, 63, uh, if there is a fault on the line and the short circuit level is, uh, for example, of the line is 40 kilo ampere, so it doesn't mean that 40 kilo ampere all will, will be flowing through the substations. So all the towers are grounded, and uh, when the conductor is grounded, it will it it, it will see lots of parallel paths uh, to flow back to the source. So it will try to, as we know, the Ohm's law. Current will flow. Try to follow, follow the all parallel paths in, in this way. If the resistance is low, it will uh, the current flow through this resistance will be more. Uh, and uh, if the resistance is high, the current flow will be will be low. So practically, just imagine that a conductor has fallen down in the transmission line. And now the conductors uh, are uh, written of uh, uh, paths are so many. All the conductors, uh, on all the towers are grounded, and then we have I think uh, after some distance we have a substation, then we have another substation, then we have. It's like a network. So the fault current will try to flow through all the points uh, which are grounded in the network. So. What we have to calculate uh, that how much fault current our substation that we are designing the earthing mass system will flow. That's why they are saying the part of fault current written within the earthing system. So it means that uh, it is not possible because uh, fault current has many paths. Our, our earthing system, our substation is not only the uh, one path uh, available uh, for the fault current. So portion of the short circuit current, although we will design the substation based on the highest level of fault current, but we have to calculate, we have to see that uh, how much fault current is uh, will be flowing through the electrodes of uh, our substation. So we have to see in this point of view and it will be really important. Another factor of importance is the knowledge of decisive soil resistivity for our extended earthing system. So, I want to add one point. Uh, previously, just came to my mind that uh, 
some utilities are uh, very strict and they are saying that they have to follow the given for circuit level uh, at any cost and you have to design the substation and uh, another utility could say that uh, you have to calculate the short circuit uh, level how much your substation is feeding in a network and based on this you can design your earthing system and, and, and the equipment Okay, so the next topic that we're discussing is the knowledge of the cycles for resistivity for extended earthing system. So this is the the third uh, most important uh, point um, on which uh, the all the resistive all the substation and earthing system is uh, is decided or designed. Uh, earth, uh, based on earth resistivity, it will be decided that what will be the thickness of the uh, mesh conductors and what will be the if you because uh, the conductors will be laid uh, to form a, a matrix what will be the uh, you can see uh, area of the matrix how the matrix will be big or small this all decided by the resistivity how much is the depth because dash is not laid on on the floor or on the surface it is laid under the soil so how much will be the depth how many rods are uh, required and how many rods and at what depth will be used so these are all basically uh, uh, provided and, uh, and, and calculated based on soil resistivity so this is a little question about our earthing design calculations thank you